Hello, I'm Angela Walters from Quilting Is My Therapy, and I would like to invite you to participate in my newest free motion challenge quilting along, Fabulous Feathers. In this six part video series, I'm gonna show you how to be successful with quilting feathers. We're gonna learn how to quilt them in blocks, create a meander, I'll show you how to quilt motifs, and how to quilt them in borders. The best part, the free motion challenge quilting along is totally free, right here on my YouTube channel. I've also designed some exclusive products to go along with the free motion challenge. You can quilt along with me on this bright and beautiful exclusive panel. I've also picked out a coordinating thread collection, as well as designed some coordinating prints that go along with the panel. In this video, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to add the optional borders to your free motion challenge quilting along panel. The border panel is an optional add-on to the Fabulous Feathers panel. This is for those quilters that wanna make their panel a little bit bigger or add just a little bit more of a custom look. Before cutting, I'm gonna iron my border panel to make sure it's nice and flat. It's very important because I wanna make sure that my cuts are as straight as possible. Now, since these borders can look very similar to each other, I'm gonna go ahead and label them so I can remember what they are later on. This is gonna really help later on in the process. Now it's time to cut. Using the longest ruler I have, I'm gonna carefully cut along the lines of the borders. And sometimes it might be necessary to shift the fabric a little bit to make sure that it's cutting straight. I'm gonna repeat this until all the border pieces are cut out. Now that I have all my border strips cut out, I need to assemble the side border pieces so that they'll be long enough. So I'm gonna grab a side border A strip and a side border B piece, and I'm gonna sew them together. I'm gonna to shift the A piece over, line up the B piece right next to it, and then sew them together. I'm gonna to repeat to make two of those strips, and then it's time to start sewing it together. Next, I'm gonna grab my Fabulous Feathers panel, which I have trimmed down to 40 by 51 inches. This is very important because your borders will not fit if you don't trim your panel. I'm gonna start with the top and bottom borders. I'm gonna find the center point of my top border and the center point of the top side of my panel, and I'm gonna line those up. This is gonna ensure that that border is centered on the panel. I'm gonna pin them together in the middle and then pin the ends and then add a few more pins in between. Now I'm gonna repeat on the other side till I have a border panel pinned to the top and bottom, and I'm gonna sew them together using a quarter inch seam allowance. Now that I've added my top and bottom border, it's time to add the sides. So I'm going to rotate the quilt and repeat. Grabbing my side border strip, I'm gonna do the same thing, finding the center point. Get that a little finger press. And I'm gonna do the same with my panel. Finding that center point, giving it a nice finger press just to give it a little bit of a crease. Just need it to be there long enough to line them up. I'm going to flip it over, line up those center marks and then repeat, pinning it together here, on the ends, and then adding a couple more pins. Once that's pinned in place, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, paying attention to the fabric placement, then I'm gonna sew them together using that quarter inch seam. After sewing them together, I'm gonna to press them nice and flat, and then I'll have my finished panel with the optional borders added on. I love how the borders frame the panel and just gives it a more elegant look. Now all that's left to do is to make my quilt sandwich or load it on my long arm and get ready for the start of the free motion challenge quilting along Fabulous Feathers. For more information about that, just check out the link in the description box below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because the first video starts November 16th. Until then, happy quilting.